Hey Masters, today I'm excited to walk you through the newest Playwright MCP server and show you how Cloud AI can now interact with real websites, generate Playwright scripts and help you to automate tests faster than ever. So let's try it out. Okay Masters, I just opened Cloud AI in my desktop. I'm gonna show you where you can download it, how you can integrate, integrate it with Playwright MCP server. No worries, I just want to give you a simple demo. So here you can see that it is telling me what is not just or good night, join media. And I'll be providing it with a simple prompt. The prompt is go to joinmedia.dev. All right, this is the website. It is gonna open the blog section. It is gonna read the most recent blog post, which is about MCP server, the protocol and cloud AI. And then it is gonna summarize what he can read in three bullet points. So it is gonna use Playwright to uh, navigate, use the browser and so on. You're gonna see this in a few seconds. I'm gonna press enter and it is gonna ask for a permissions to, a permission to use Playwright. So I'm gonna allow it. And as you can see, it has opened a new browser, a browser over here, right? Um, I'm gonna allow the use of the click from Playwright over here, I'm gonna allow it. And then you can see that in a few seconds, it is gonna look for the first blog post and it is gonna enter or click on it, right? Awesome. And in a few seconds, Cloud AI is gonna be able to summarize the article in three bullet points. And then we can think about the answer, if it is the correct or not, right? But at the end, as you can see, the MCP server is working fine. It is able to use Playwright to do clicks and so on. So this is the introduction. And in a few seconds, I want to explain you what is going on behind it, the concepts of what is an MCP, a protocol, the server, what is cloud AI, and so on. So let's take a look of that. I wrote a blog post that covers everything in detail. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video, but here is a quick overview of the three key concepts you need to understand right now. MCP, MCP server, and cloud itself, all right? MCP stands for Modric Context Protocol. It's an open source protocol built by Anthropic. Think of it as a secure bridge that lets AI models like Cloud connect to different tools and data sources like files, APIs, or even your test environment. In simple terms, MCP gives your AI assistant context and tools so it can help you better, faster, and with your data kept safe. Then we have the concept of an MCP server, and MCP works on a client server model. Uh, the server controls what gets shared and the AI or client only sees what it is allowed to. This ensures security and clear boundaries of this. I want to show you another <clears throat> web page that you can visit to get more context or get more information and it is modelcontextprotocol.io. Right? In here you can see more information, see a general architecture diagram and well, you can actually see the SDKs and also example servers, example clients, and so on. Oh, actually, you have here some tutorials. So I just wanted to share with you this awesome information. All right, and then at the end, we have the concept of Cloud AI. It is a family of AI models made by Anthropic. It is just like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. Uh, well. Cloud can answer questions, summarize documents, help you writing stuff, generate code, and more. Uh, the cool part, it is a multimodal <clears throat> um, tool, which means it can handle text, images, and even audio, right? So this is it. Now we can start taking a look at the Playwright MCP server. All right, masters, and then we have a GitHub repository where you can see all the details of this server. Its name is Playwright MCP. It's public. And as you can see here, we have all the information. Basically, this is a server that provides browser automations, automation capabilities using Playwright, all right? This server enables LLMs to interact with web pages through a structure, accessibility snapshots, bypassing the need of a, for screenshots or visual tune models, all right? So here we have some key features and some use cases as well, and also a configuration. I'm gonna explain to you how you can 
connect this Playwright MCP server with Cloth AI right now. You can access or download actually the desktop version of Cloth AI using this link, Cloth AI slash download. I'll try to leave this, this link in the description of the video. And well, you can actually download it for Mac OS, Windows, so it's awesome. In my case, I downloaded for Mac OS, right? And I just installed it. And uh, at the end, I had the, well, the UI that I just showed you before over here, right? Um, now, how you can configure your Playwright MCP server with Cloud AI. It's super simple. You have to come here to um, file, I'm sorry, Cloud, all right? Then go to settings. Then click on the developer tab over here and click on the edit configuration. This is gonna open uh, well, a folder with the configuration file that you need to edit. So I'm gonna open this with cursor. And as you can see, I have this configuration over here. Uh, actually, it needs a format. <laughs> and well, as you can see, it's pretty easy. Um, it only have one particular key, MCP servers, and you can have as many MCP servers as you want. In my case, I only have Playwright. Do you, you may be wondering where you can find this configuration. It is in the official documentation. Let me show you this. This is the repository of Playwright MCP, right? Well, you can now actually see the configuration over here. So there it is. That's it. Now you just have to go to the, the file, right? Save it, close it and restart Cloud AI just to make sure that the server works. Once you open it again, you're gonna have this particular uh, icon over here. And as you can see, those are like tools that are allowed or are integrated with a uh, Cloud AI. If I open it, you can see that um, I have choose file from Playwright, browser click for, from Playwright, browser close, browser go back, browser go forward, over, navigate, press key, save as PDF, and so on. And all these actions are from the Playwright MCP server, okay? So masters, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Now we have Playwright MCP server integrated with Cloud AI. And now we can make a simple prompt to see if we can generate a Playwright test from a website, right? Let's try it out. Okay, masters, so I have a simple prompt here. I'm gonna try to generate a Playwright test and let me show you how I'm gonna do it. So I'll be requesting to use the Playwright MCP tool to perform the following tasks in a real browser session. Uh, fill all the information, click the button, save the screenshots and so on, all right? I need the, um, well, this AI to navigate to the website sauzdemo.com. I need it to fill the username field with the standard user. I needed to fill the password with the correct password, which is secret sauce. Click the login button, wait until the products load and the URL includes inventory, all right? And then take a screenshot and save it as logged in PNG. Then please generate it or generate a Playwright script just to make sure that I can just copy the script and paste it in my Playwright framework, all right? So I'll try it out. I'm gonna press enter and it is gonna start. It is asking me for me for the permissions to, to start Playwright. I'm gonna allow it. As you can see in the Google Chrome, it has opened the sauzdemo.com website. Then it is asking me for permissions to browser type. I'm gonna say yes for sure. And then let's see what is going on. Okay, it is starting to fill the information in the form. I'm gonna allow the click a functionality. Then it opens the session. You can see the inventory.html in the URL. And it is asking me for creating a screenshot or taking a screenshot. So it, it, it is doing it as well. Awesome. All right, now that it has everything uh, in place, it is gonna start the um, to create a test for us, All right? And as you can see, here it is. I just have to copy this particular script Okay, let me see, do, do, do. and I'll be pasting it in in, uh, in my framework. I have a simple framework over here just for testing, okay? I'm gonna delete everything in my spec. I'm gonna paste the code, 
I'm gonna delete this snapshot. I don't need it. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. And I'll be clearing my terminal. I'll be running the test in headed mode just to show you that it is doing what it should do. Here it is. It is happening so fast, but the test passed in the three different browsers or browser engines in this case, right? Uh, so as you can see, well, it is working. Now we can improve this workflow for sure. We can integrate the MCP server to write automatically code in our editor or do more complicated stuff, right? But I hope that I can bring that content soon and I hope that you enjoy this video, masters, to be honest.